What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm finally at the long-awaited one-month review of the Puma Future 7 Ultimate. And let's just say, I've got a lot of things to say about these, and most of them aren't good. But before we get into that, make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button, you guys know. If you guys don't subscribe or like the video, none of these videos can be possible. So subscribe, like, let's get into it. Now I'm not gonna lie, I've already had some sort of opinion towards these boots just because I tried on the previous Futures and I wasn't a big fan and when I saw these came out and they had the exact same sole plate, well I was like, do they just make the same boot? To start off, let me just say, sizing on these is very hard to get right. Um, I got a 10 and a half, like I've said in the previous videos, I'm a size 10 and a half so I stayed true to size and I think I should have gone a half size down smaller. Just cause, I mean, look, I've got grip socks on. I can easily slide that on without even really necessarily needing the floor. So like as far as room in the toe box, there's a lot of it. <laughs> but look, and you guys know I have trouble putting on shoes with my left foot. I mean, that was a little bit harder than the right one, but Still slipped on without even needing any assistance from the floor. And the laces, man. Just, I wish there was more. Just because there's a bigger possibility of this happening. Look at that. Which, I mean, is fixable if you just take the time to redo the laces almost. But kind of simply just really annoying in my opinion. Now, walking around in them specifically right now feels very good. Um, that's just because I've got grip socks on. If I'm being honest, I think that's really the only way I'm gonna be wearing these from now on because whenever I have like actual just regular socks like the Puma socks you see me wearing them with, slippage is insane. There's just so much of it whenever I'm planning and shooting the ball and even just dribbling and even like just walking around. I can feel the unsteadiness of the actual boot on my heel. That being said, let me like pause on bashing these cleats for just a couple seconds because they do feel very amazing on my foot, like all around. The actual material itself, like on the top, the actual upper is probably one of my favorites. But if I'm being honest, I think that's the only thing I really like about the boot, just, just of how the upper feels. Now in the first unboxing slash play test video, I was talking a lot about well, in general, in the whole video, I think I was talking about a lot about the actual laces, and I think I have already in this video, but I talked about the pressure point at the very top, uh, or the very first laces. That pressure point isn't there anymore. So, Puma, good job. That That's cool. <laughs> I mean, it just broken very nicely uh, with the material, which is the upper. The lace is broken very nicely. The pressure points aren't really there because when I first tried them on, honestly, it was just so uncomfortable. It felt like a very dull blade just digging into the top of my toes. But now, fully broken into, fully everything, I don't even feel the laces there, which is great. It feels really nice. Now, one of the biggest things that the other Pumas had or didn't have, which was good durability. Um, these have the exact same sole plate as the ones pre previous, but as far as durability issues, I haven't had any sole separation yet. Um, but at the same time, I have been playing with these boots the majority of the time on an FG pitch. I played with them on an AG pitch, the first try on video, and they felt very aggressive, but also I only played on AG once and with the other boots, that's literally all I played in. I never, I think I played with them on FG maybe once, so kind of flip-flopping flip them. And I think that plays a really big factor in durability. But speaking on that, on playing FG and AG with these boots, dang, these should not be marketed as FG AG. That's my personal opinion. Puma, please don't come at me. The boots are decent, um, but I think the studs are just a little too long. The pattern is just not very AG friendly. I think they would be more AG, 
more FGAG if they had more of a circular pattern instead of literal diamonds and edges on them. So as far as it being an AG boot, I highly doubt it. And I mean, I think I can give a pretty good comparison because like I said, the sole plate is the exact same as the sole plate as the previous one. And wearing these on FG feel way better than on AG. AG feels kind of rough. It's kind of too aggressive in my opinion. Now, one thing that I do like about them, um, I like the color. <laughs> yeah, the color's pretty nice. The style and the color of these, I would say is pretty, pretty clean compared to the previous ones. I kind of do wish the power tape was here on the side though. I think it'd look a lot more cleaner. Um, Kind of unfortunate unfortunate that that's like the main thing that i like about them well actually the main thing that i like about them like i said is the upper oh that sounded bad i think the best word to use for it is just honestly it's just very comfortable i love how it breaks in around your foot around my toes um i gotta say like these the future lineup are one of the most comfortable boots that Puma has but also in my my opinion one of the most inconsistent boots that they have all right now with that being said one month review Puma Future 7 ultimate my review my rating ah uh, I might have to give them a 6 out of 10. Like, don't get me wrong, these boots are nice, but I'm kind of rating the boot in regards of the price point. So these go for like 240, 230 USD, the top tier. I just don't think it's worth that much. Like, I would happily buy these. I mean, I bought them at full price, but I think they're worth like 150. 150 would be a good price point for these. But with that being said, if you're looking to get these Pumas, if you can get them like at a discounted rate, 100% go for them, they're worth it. But I just think the original price point for these is a little much in my opinion. Um, but don't get me wrong, these are still very nice boots and I said a lot of bad things about them. But I mean, like I said, I do honest reviews and at the end of the day, you're still gonna see me wearing these like because they're really good boots. So I'm still gonna wear them. What I'm really looking forward to is the new gen of the Futures. I'm 100% gonna get them, you guys know. You guys are always asking for Puma reviews. So I'm gonna give you Puma reviews, but I need one thing. Hit the subscribe button. I was gonna say follow. <laughs> like the video. Like I said, I can't do any of these reviews without you guys doing that. But yeah, I'm curious to see how they're gonna upgrade from these. Um, personally, not my favorite. They are very nice. I know a lot of people really like these, but for me specifically, they're good. Decent, they're decent. Let's say, say they're decent. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Whoa.